So today I'm back and I'm doing a Morphe brushes haul. I just purchased quite a large amount of brushes and I will say that they took a while to get to me. I live in Australia and they did take about a month, maybe slightly less. But now I have them and I've tried some of them out and I'm absolutely in love with them. So I'm just going to do a haul slash review. Some of them might be a bit dirty because I haven't cleaned them um, yet, but let's just jump in. So first of all, we have a face brush and this one I've been using for liquid foundation and it is the Morphe M439 brush. And this brush puts on foundation quite nicely. I didn't really like it when I first tried it, but I do like it now. Um, you do kind of have to pat it on quite a lot though for it to get your foundation on smoothly. Um, I'm used to brushes that just kind of buff it in straight away, but this you do have to work a little bit harder. I don't know if it is just the foundation that I'm using, which is the Dream Mousse by Maybelline, but um, I might try it with some different foundations and see what the outcome is. But again, that's the Morphe M439 brush. I will put the prices in the description box as well and the link to all the brushes. Next we have the Morphe E48 brush and at first I was using this to contour because when I did work at Napoleon Purtis we used one really similar to this and it worked beautifully for contouring. Although I don't really like it now for contouring, um, it seems to just put a really thin line on my cheekbone and I'm not really about that look anymore. So. What I will usually do with this brush now, I've been using it for highlighting and it seems to be the perfect size for that. Um, all these brushes are extremely soft by the way. Um, there's a massive amount of wind outside so if you can hear banging around that's what it is. Also I just moved house and I don't have much furniture so if you can hear some echoing there's nothing really to um, condense the sound. Anyway, so this is again the Morphe E48 brush. And since we're going with face brushes, um, I absolutely love this one. It is the Morphe E59 and I have been using this to pack on powder foundation as well as um, using it for blush and to contour my face. It is the perfect size for in there to get right in there and contour and blend it out. This brush is so soft and I just absolutely love it. I would highly suggest getting this brush. It is amazing. Other thing I forgot to mention with this one, I have been using it to set under my eyes as well um, with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and it works really well for that as well as highlighting. Now onto face brushes again. Um, this is the Morphe M527 and to be honest I haven't really worked out what I'm going to be using this brush for. I did try it for both putting my powder on my face and bronzing but I just really don't like the outcome. It's too big to contour with and it just kind of moves my makeup around I find so I don't really love this one yet but it is so soft and I hope I can find a use for it. That is the M. 527 brush. On to eyes. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this brush. I bought a few crease blending brushes because I have one and it always goes missing. So when I was ordering these brushes, I thought I may as well get quite a few of them. Um, so this is the Morphe M441 brush and it just is perfect. Like I used it on a client today. Um, and and I do wash my brushes between each client, so don't worry. And it just fits perfectly in the crease of everyone's eye, I've found. Like, it fits perfectly in mine. It fits perfectly in the client that I just did, and she had smaller eyes. So that's something that I really look for in a brush. Um, just because when I worked at Napoleon, it was really hard to find. Like, we had one brush that we used for a crease color, and it just didn't fit in so many people's eyes. It would mess things up when we're doing smoky eyes. It would just get it up into their eyebrows. So, it's really, this one is really good and universal, um, I feel. So, yeah, this is the M441 brush. This one is also pretty good. Um, I'd say... This is kind of in between a P40 
pencil brush and a crease brush. This is the M433. This one is really good also. Um, really soft and yeah, good for blending as well and packing on colour. I actually enjoy this to pack colour out on the outer edge of my eye. I always do that when I do my makeup. First I'll blend in um, a bronzer into the crease as a transition shade and then I'll put a darker colour on the outer edge and then like pack it pack it on with this so love this brush too. Now onto the brushes that I haven't found a use for yet. Um, so we have the Morphe M201 brush. I believe this is meant to be a concealer brush but I tried it with my concealer and I find that using my fingers is just much more effective to pat it in. This kind of just moves it around a bit. If anyone else has any different opinions on this, please let me know or like what you would use it for. Um, yeah, because to be honest, I'm not loving this one so far. That is the M201 brush. I got two of these in different, slightly different sizes because I don't have anything like this. And it's a brush to smudge under your eyes with. And this one is the M213. This is the B16. And yeah, basically they're both for applying eyeshadow under your eyes. I used to just use a pencil brush, but I'm looking forward to using these. Um, the last two brushes that I have are the Morphe M419, and I'm not really sure what this is for to be honest. I don't even remember buying this one, but by the looks of it, it probably could be used to pack setting powder around the nose in all the creases on your chin, in between your eyes, maybe under eyes, who knows. Again, if anyone knows what this is for or uses this brush for any particular reason, please tell me what it is. This is the M419. Last but not least, this is a pencil brush. Um, I haven't used this one yet, but I'm looking forward to using it because pencil brushes are great. This is again really soft and it's the M138. All my brushes together. Um, yeah, and so far my overall opinion is that they are really soft and fluffy. For the price they are amazingly affordable, so I highly suggest going to Morphe for brushes if you can be bothered to wait that long to receive them. But they are really good brushes in my opinion. I did forget one other brush that fell on the floor and this one is great. I've been using this to do my eyebrows the last few days. Um, I used it on a client today to do her eyebrows and it's just so precise and great. Um, it's the Morphe B74 brush. I highly suggest this one. It has such a thin pointed tip which is so good when applying eyeshadow colour. Um, and it also has a little spoolie on the other end to smooth out your brows. It also bends which is awesome so you can bend it to whatever shape you want to suit your eyebrows. So that's great too. So apart from that, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Um, I love talking to you guys and seeing your comments. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.